Okay, what's up? We are back at this uh, very dirty, very uh, in need of a clean house. We were out here a couple weeks ago with Brock. Today we're doing the walkway, all this brick, the trim. We're going to be using a little bit of uh, roof wash mix on some of the dark staining on the brick just to kind of loosen it up because the uh, downstream injector is really only pulling uh, one and a quarter percent. Uh, we're going all the way back through here. Let's take a look. So like this is an area right here where we're going to be throwing a little roof wash mix on there just to lighten it up. Last time we were here, a couple of birdies in there, but they look like they've grown up. They're adults now out in the world. This is what Brock and I did last time. Got this all cleaned up. Looks actually really, really good. Now it's all dried out and drained. Okay. But we're going to be doing a lot of this stuff so if i can get some roof wash mix on this moss let it sit while i go do some pressure washing let it get real nice and soft that would be great so this is one of the reasons that i bought my gp hammerhead um service cleaner because that is going to knock this out so quickly so quickly right this pool deck everything like that what's not cool is uh i can't use the service cleaner today so what i didn't know when i bought it it's labeled as an eight gallon per minute um eight gallon per minute service cleaner um, it comes with and i didn't know this until i talked to someone who was trying to troubleshoot why this wasn't working it comes with tips for a four gallon per minute pressure washer why i have no idea whole thing It shuts off once you pull the gun. The watch really have no idea. Um, if you look at the handle here, uh, eight gallon per minute, 5,000 PSI, but it comes with tips for four gallon per minute. Look in here, it even came with extra tips. It came with a second set of tips here. Got my tape there. Uh, these are for, where's the markings on here? You're probably not going to be able to see it, but these are 25020. These are actually two gallon per minute tips. I mean, I had no idea. I don't know why it does that. Um, so we have eight gallon per minute tips on the way. Would have been extremely satisfying to just like... I don't know, have the eight gallon per minute service cleaner come with eight gallon per minute tips, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Um, we've been pressure washing for years without a service cleaner, so we'll be able to get all this done. It'll just take a little bit longer. Uh, we gotta do the front walk here. Let's take a look at the scope here in the front. I'm supposed to have Brock with me. Um, Brock works Fridays with me, Mondays and Fridays. Um, this was scheduled for a Friday. I had to move it around. Um, unfortunately, I mean, you guys know how it is. Sometimes you got to make a couple changes with the schedule. Can come right through here. It would have been nice to have Brock with me today, but I got to just kind of get it done uh, when I can get it done and then all through here. So this is going to be messy like it was in the back. Um, we'll come through here, hit all this trim. That's going to be really easy. Most of this brick here is just going to take one and a quarter, right? You don't need anything crazy on the doors. I'm going to wash this brick just like I wash vinyl, this trim, just like I wash vinyl with a downstream uh, light uh, mix, but it's this stuff here. So we're gonna turn the roof wash on, on the 12 volt, and we're gonna come and just hit some of the stuff. We're gonna let it dwell for a while. It's probably gonna take us a couple hours to do all the pressure washing here, especially since I'm uh, doing it like a schmuck, but not too bad, really not that bad outside of this wall here and stuff like that. So, Maybe uh, next time I do a pressure washing video, we'll have this surface cleaner set up. If you guys, tell me why they do that. Tell me why an eight gallon per minute machine comes with a two, uh, two sets of two gallon per minute uh, tips. I, I don't know. It's, I can't figure it out. I'm like wondering if I made a mistake. I went back to the website. There was no telling about the tips. There was no description. There was no options for different tips. It was an eight gallon per minute surface cleaner i don't understand but we'll get through it all so let's get all set up let's get uh, some water coming to the truck we'll rip out some hose lines 
and uh, we'll get some uh, we'll get some six percent on this house. All right, let's get ready to flow some six percent. We got our water always all the way on. We're gonna crank some soap here. We're gonna let this stick right to the brick. We're gonna get it really sticky, and then of course our bleach all the way on. Let's fire up the pump. Let's fire up power to our box here. Okay, ball valves open. We're ready to pull some 6%. Now, people have asked me about the copper in the past. Not a whole lot of homes around here have it, but this one obviously does. I've never had an issue with bleach on copper. We just want this to be nice and soft, nice and dead when we come back in a little while. And that way, rinse mode with the eight gallon per minute will theoretically and hopefully blast that right off. Now we can probably hit that with uh, a lance too, but we'll lighten it up. Oh man, it's fake, don't worry. Okay, we can kill this for now. Here the ball valve closed and scrap our boots. I am super anal about flushing everything. I flush my downstream injector before I leave every single job. So let's go ahead and we'll turn water off. I'm sorry, the bleach off. We're gonna turn our soap off. The only thing that's open right now is our water line. So we'll run it through here. Shouldn't be too pressurized. I just let it out a little bit, okay. Turn this on. And now we got just water coming through. Okay, I mean, we got a lot of pressure washing to do. There's no reason to leave 6% sitting in our pump. That's how you make things last longer. So let's go ahead, we'll pull these uh, pull those holes off here. It's nice having the flatbed all just drains right out. PSI today. Let's go to work. <laughs> Man, that's like holding a uh, like a jackhammer above your head. <laughs> All right, all that so far, water's still at the top. 
getting good flow here. It's got like a three quarter line, which is nice. All right, let's get on this pool deck here. Before I go any further, let's just see how long this takes. I'm not gonna stop, 9.30. I don't know if you can see that, but 9.30 on the dot. Thing still running, still got battery. Okay. I have not looked yet. 10.09. Look at that, 39 minutes. That's actually not bad, it's not great. Um, my question for you guys who do service cleaning that might be able to size this up, tell me what you think you could do. Uh, mine's a 20 inch deck. So obviously, if you guys have smaller ones or bigger ones, the numbers are gonna be different. But if you're running a 20 inch uh, deck uh, deck cleaner with a, an eight gallon per minute pressure washer, if I did this in 39 minutes with a wand, my guess, I think it would be quicker than half, right? Would you be able to do this in uh, 20 minutes or maybe even less? I mean, honestly, I'm thinking, I think you could do this way less than 20 minutes, right? So you guys tell me. If that service cleaner was working today, let me know what we uh, what we could have seen here. So I haven't rinsed this yet. We'll take a look at it afterwards. I'm pretty confident there's no lines, something like that. Uh, went over everything a couple times. This is just from hose drag. Those aren't lines. But um, another thing that I'm curious in, uh, which some of you guys might be curious in, is, and I'll, we'll talk about this quick before I get over there, is how much fuel have I used. I filled up my six gallon auxiliary tank uh, before we got here. It was full to the top. Um, we started over there and did the wall, did this, uh, did these pavers, and then all this concrete. So probably, I mean, that was 45 minutes or 40 minutes, and then uh, maybe another 10 or 15 of just open gunning and running. So let's just take a look. Let's see what the uh, fuel thing is at, and then we're gonna take a break. Still full. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, let's take a little break here. Ah, oh, man. Shoo! All right, let's also real quick. That was 40 minutes of just straight running this thing, and here's our water line down here. So not quite full, but pretty darn, pretty darn good. Uh, it's over. That's a uh, 50 gallon tank, so it'll be over 25 gallons. And this side, I mean, they're pulling pretty equally. Um, hard to tell, but like right about here, they're equal. So I'm pretty happy with that. You can see a little better here. All right, I'm gonna take a little break. That looks awesome. Then we're gonna rinse that. Let's see, what is left to do? Oh, well, we still got a handful of things. Um, we're gonna rinse all this at the end, I guess, before we knock the pressure down to start washing this trim and everything like that. We still need to run through this walkway. All right, break silver. We're ripping through here with a ripstick. Got all the way down this walkway, all the way to the end. Took a detour this way. Hit up this concrete, little dirty brick. Hit that window. And then we kept on going this way. And now we gotta clean up this patio area. It's gonna be a nightmare only because a lot of moss, a lot of mud and walls. So when I say nightmare, it just means I'm gonna be soaking wet by the time I get done doing this corner and whatnot. So 
we'll set up this camera so you guys can enjoy me getting slaughtered by moth and mud. What a mess. All right, let's keep moving on. Last thing we're gonna do is rinse all this, so that'll be fun. All right, there's our bleach level. We got a thumb above two. We're all switched over. We're done with high pressure. Um, Unless I missed something on the rinse later, we gotta we gotta uh, re up. But I'm pretty confident that we're good on the high pressure. Let's start knocking down some mold off of this trim. Uh, we'll see how the mold uh, comes off these window sills up here, or the moss comes off the window sills up here. Um, and if there's a retreat, I still I did flush out the flow jet, but I still got six percent in the line, so we can easily flow some more if we need to. We'll see how this all goes. Seems like the sun's always right where you don't want it to be. Okay, let's get up under here. All that nice, all that nice. Those windows purling up already. Clean all this up. Gonna fight around this birch tree here a little bit. Get a little bit more sauce on that mouse. Get up under these leaves here. All the way to that corner. Rinse out our line. Always want to just give it a second. Let that ball valve turn. She's just a purring over there. She's just a purring. All right, ball valve should be cooking now. Let's just get right up in here. That way we don't waste too much of that. Waste too much of that bleach. And let's go back to the beginning and we'll rinse. But we'll get it. Just about a little decade of dirt up there. No big deal. Beautiful. Look at all that junk coming down. Yeehaw, white wood, white trim. Nice and white, nice and pearly. 
and you hit a little section right there. I can't tell if that's a stain or everything else came off except for that. So I'm assuming it's probably a stain, but we'll hit it one more time. Look at all this trim. This is white all up through. Look at that. Black spots gone. This is all rinsed. Windows and door trim, nice and white. Let's get this mix going here. Look at this, look how black that is. Look at that black. Boom, that's what we're, that's what we're working for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Let's see where we are. We're about a thumb over the two. So we did about a thumb. Thumbs width on all this. But we're all done here. Trim's nice and white. <laughs> um, this is all cleaned off. This is beautiful. This is all clean. Let's see what time it is. Where's my phone? 1241. I think we got here at 830. And we are clean all the way around. This place is looking great. Um, tanks are full. On a side note. Um, someone left a comment the other day about do I leave a job full tanks or half? I don't even understand the concept of leaving a place without full. I'm always full. I will sit and play around in the driveway, roll up my hose. The last thing I do, the last thing I do is disconnect from their water. I roll everything up, I get paid, I ask for referrals, walk the customer around and I leave everything hooked up for water because I never know what my situation is when I get to the next one is the spigot slow is the spigot broken i want to have full tank so i can get ready to work i just let's get paid let's get out of here <laughs> okay we're just about wrapped up out of here we got our paycheck hubby's out there happy as a clam everything's good he gave me his blessing over here so we'll catch you guys later we're just gonna wrap up our water line we're gonna do one more house wash and then we're gonna get our get our friday afternoon on so let's go